Hey everyone, welcome back to BeamNG Drive, and today we've got a little mission set aside for us. Now there hasn't been any new updates to play with, so we thought we, I thought we'd give this a little try, and we're gonna fit this little car in the back of that truck one way or another. We're forcing it in there somehow. Uh, let's get to it. Attempt number one, we're gonna try at this distance to see if we can fit the car in the back of the truck. We have to have enough speed to break through its doors. So let's see if we can do it. Oh, we almost got it, but we're sliding out. I think we need a little more speed. And now for attempt number two. We're starting back quite a bit farther now. Hopefully we can maintain control of our vehicle until we get up close enough to it to actually hit the doors. If we miss, then we ruin the whole thing. Uh, that didn't work much better, though. And now our AI-controlled van, who I had reversing into the barrier there so he didn't drive away as soon as we hit him, is trying to crush us. We're going to try from the same distance again. Hopefully we can get a better result this time. Hey, oh. Just about. Nope. Oh, he's going to try to kick us out. Let's switch over to the other vehicle. See if we can drive around with us in the back at all. Does the vehicle not want to do it? Are we not able to? There we go. Our AI just was stubborn, didn't want to give up control. Although our car is going to follow here. If we make any sudden movements, let's see if we can get the car stuck in there a little farther before it falls out. So I think the best way to do that might actually be to crash into something. Now hopefully we can find something. How about this? It'll only hit the top. No, we don't want to hit the top. That'll squish the top out. We need to hit something that'll cause a force that'll be enough to push the car into there, but not destroy our vehicle in the process. Let's try a light tap. It seemed kind of effective, although it made lots of noise. <laughs> not sure if that's a good thing. Maybe we can just turn around and push it in. We've got pieces of the car coming through the side of our van. That explains the noise. And nope, we need a little more momentum. The trucks don't have a whole lot of horsepower. Okay, that's probably as good as we're going to get it. Now let's go for the obstacle course and see just how long or how well this thing will stay in. We're just about tipping over though. Or not the obstacle courses, but these things. This van feels very top heavy now. I think if I turn too sharp, which we'll do in just a second, we might tip over. So that way is not too bad because the vehicle's mostly on the right. But if we do turn left, oh, then that happens. Ah. So this time around, we're going to try to make things a little more simple for ourselves. And we're going to go ahead and remove the cargo doors of the truck. So that should make life a little simpler. And then we'll get our AI set up to a place where he will stay in place. So we'll back up to that, push against it, hold down our arrow key for reversing, and then tab out. So now he's still up there trying to push back because he's using the same controls that he was using when we left. Remember, we can switch between vehicles with tab. If you don't know how to spawn in vehicles, then check out my channel. I uploaded a video on how to do that a little while ago. And we'll... We might be able to just drive in simply this time. And, oh, that's oh, too much speed. Let's see if we can just simply drive in without any kind of real speed. Okay, let's turn to the parking brake. Switch over to the van. I, wa I wonder if we can put... Let's, let's try driving like this. I was wondering if we could put the, the doors back on this truck. <laughs> this is funny. Without uh, <clears throat> without the car being popped out. Oh, let's let's go over this. This seems entertaining. So we'll slow down time a little bit. Maybe not quite that much, but okay. So we seem to be handling this quite well. Speed up time a little bit more. We're in slow motion here, remember? So if things look a little bit moon gravity and weird, then that's why. How's her car doing back here? 
it still appears to be holding in pretty good. Even though our van's getting tossed around, it's coming to a pretty much a complete stop. Let's resume normal speed. Oh, we are... Are we stuck? We are hitting something. What are we hitting? I think they were bottoming out there on the back end of our vehicle. So we'll we'll take another road off of here. And then we'll start testing a few more things. Come on. Heading over to this hill. Oh, or not. Come on now. You can do it. You can do it, van. There you go. Cargo box uplift van. <laughs> that car stayed in there pretty good. I have the parking brakes out on it, so it hopefully shouldn't slide out too easily. We did gain as much, or keep as much speed as I hoped we could going here. It's it's in there pretty good though. Let's hopefully not tip over trying to do this. Maybe a parking brake turn. A little bit. <laughs> it's working. We did it. But you know what? I think maybe this vehicle just isn't quite big enough. Maybe we need to try something a little bit bigger. And right on cue, we rolled over. Hmm. What if we can fit the pickup in there? This is just the stock pickup. I was humming and hawing about the off-road version. Maybe we'll try that next. Got our cargo van just flat on, flat out with the gas in reverse. Well, we're in, but it's a tight fit. We don't have much space to spare. Our tires are all in there, so that might be good enough, but our, our back end is hanging out. Let's give it a try, put our parking brake on, and we'll try driving away. Surprisingly enough, I don't feel that heavy, except for the, the top heavy part. Accelerating doesn't seem to be that much of a pain, which is quite surprising. How is the suspension doing? Are we looking a little bit low riding? Maybe a little bit. It's hard to really say. Especially when we didn't compare it to the original suspension. Although you guys can still switch back to and watch that from the beginning. Check out what that is. So let's try these three jumps here. We'll we'll see how the little one does at just a low rate of speed. We'll go back into slow motion here. That's a little too slow motion. So we're hitting the ground now. That's kind of a little bit. Whoops, a little bit of weight on our vehicle. It's not liking it too much. Now the question is, will the truck stay in it now? Oh, our back end is just bottoming right out. <laughs> uh, we did it though. Now what about this next ramp? Alright, we have some flat tires now though. <laughs> as you can see, that tire is flat. The one on the other side is possibly flat as well. The one on the inside on the side is flat. Let's see, what do we have? Let's try this middle ramp next. We'll see how this goes. Even with our flat tires. I think this might be a little more speed than we had before. But that's perfectly fine. Now we'll slow this down. This is gonna hurt the front end of our truck. Oh, squish. <laughs> our front bumper is just squished right into the back of our truck now. Yeah, that's a big bottom out. You can kind of see most of the, the body of the pickup sticking through the side of the the cargo van. Our van doesn't look as well shaped anymore. Let's resume speed again. We're still driving though. Our drive shaft isn't bent too badly yet. <laughs> clearly, because we're still able to drive somehow. I feel like we've lost a little bit of, of the ability to drive very well though. I feel like if we turn like this, we might tip over. We're banking to the right quite a bit. Do we have any good tires left on our, left, our right side? Oh yeah, the one reinflated itself somehow. That's fine. We'll give this another go. This time on the big one. Go big or go home. We'll slow it down again because this ramp, climbing it, it's so steep that it, that'll be a challenge in its own. Hopefully we have enough momentum to get up this thing in this van. Because this van is quite heavy. I don't know. Back to normal speed. And we didn't make it up. Uh, but we're, t we're tipping over. <laughs> uh, that that, that could have ended better. So much for going bigger, going home. I guess we're going home.
What do you think? Can we fit that in the back of a van? Or the back of the cargo truck, I should say? It's gonna be a tight fit. Oh, that might be a problem. We should bring that up here first, shouldn't we? We're not making that jump. Okay. So it's stuck back here now. Let's see if we can fit in here. Oh. What a perfect fit. Our wheels are just barely in there. We're probably going to fall out when we try moving. But let's see. How far can we make it? <laughs> uh, there's no way it was designed to fit a van like this. The real life thing would be struggling so much to pull this much weight, I'm sure. Let's, now, let's try that big ramp out there for size. We'll go off that with this van in here. It just might fall right out as soon as we try anything. So it could get silly. Man, we're having a hard time accelerating. Steering is a little bit messed up. Ooh, careful. Let's not tip ourselves over. So our goal now is to go off the one ramp over here and land perfectly on the other. How well this will work? Um, I'm not gonna give it a very high, a very high chance of success. This should be enough speed, I think. Let's watch it how this van goes up this hill. Oh my, we're losing a lot of speed going up here. We're probably not going to have enough power to make it over. All parts of our vehicle were scraping on the ground there. Now we're airborne, there's no turning back. The back end of our truck's hitting the ramp again. Uh, yeah, we're not going to make this jump at all. <laughs> we might hit it on the way back down, but we're not making it over. I don't know, are our front wheels going to make it? Maybe. I don't think so. It's going to be close. Our front wheels might make it. Oh, uh, whoop. What a bad time to switch the camera angles by accident. Well, they kind of made it. The van in the back of the truck has now crashed down. Take a little bit of damage from that. Not bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's resume normal speed again. Oh, and we're tipping. Can we back up? No, we are really stuck. We're a wheel wheel drive vehicle and our rear wheels are off the ground. Our front wheels are kind of a little bit hurting. Our exhaust is hanging from the bottom of our truck. Can we drive the other truck out of the bottom? No, we're jammed in there. <laughs> Call me crazy if you want. You're probably right. Oh yeah. That's a perfect fit. <laughs> can we even move with this guy hanging under back? We can, but he's not staying there long. Although, that might be a really good tow truck system. Well, call me crazy, but here's something fun to try. Let's see if it'll work. I think it'll be a, a real miracle if it does. First off, we have to fit this truck into that one. Is it in? It's in! We've got our front truck still pushing us backwards. That might not be a bad thing, actually. We're going to try to fit this truck in the back of that second one. I have my doubts about this, though, guys. Don't get your hopes up too high. And let's see. Let's slow everything down so for some fine-tune adjustments. So we need to make this work. I think our aim there is about as good as it's going to get. So now we just... Just pray. Uh, I don't know about this fit. <laughs> uh, well, I guess we can call this a oop. Not a success. Ah. Uh, although we we did manage to get one stuck in there. Two wasn't really a success though. Oh, we cannot turn at all. Turn left. Turn left. Turn right. We can turn left a little, or to the right a little bit, but not left. We are gonna crash. Ugh. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yep. 
Yeah, this one's for those of you that were as curious as I was. Let's load this car into the truck. Put on the parking brake. Switch over to this one. Let's pull it away a little bit. And then we're going to try to put these back doors back on. Let's let's hope for the best. Oh, we, we, we did it. How about this one? Oh, I saw hubcaps fly everywhere. We probably have its car, that car hanging at the bottom of us. Yeah, we do. But we're drivable. I would call that a success. You know, those wheels hanging down there from that car. You know those are? Those are just there for extra loads, extra heavy loads. For those times <laughs> that you have a really oversized load in there, they, they touch the ground. Eh? They're like those wheels on transports that they can raise and lower. Lower them if they need extra weight capacity, raise them up if they need a little more maneuverability. <laughs> you know, it's all, it's all intended. Although they do add a lot of weight. <laughs> Uh, nope. And we're stuck. And of course, spawning, respawning would leave us with an empty truck. And there's our, here's our cargo sitting over here. Which, it is undrivable. Its rear wheels aren't even touching the ground. And that one's missing. Well. <laughs> oh, that was entertaining. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you later.